On this edition of Manned Space, we look at the flight of a Saturn V that traveled only 350 feet into the air, but landed safely on the ground. brainchild of Werner von Braun, the Saturn V was flown for the first time on November 9, 1967. Dubbed Apollo 4, it was the first test flight of the giant rocket designed specifically to carry men to the moon. The vehicle performed near flawlessly and it still remains the most powerful rocket ever launched. In December of 1968, the Saturn V became the only launch vehicle to carry men out of Earth orbit when it lifted the crew of Apollo 8 on a trip to the moon. Then, on July 16, 1969, it was the vehicle that launched the crew of Apollo 11, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Mike Collins to history's first lunar landing. Ten, nine, ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, all engine running. Liftoff, we have a liftoff, 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower cleared. To celebrate this historic accomplishment, Estes Industries put out a 1 100th scale model of the Saturn V. Founded by Vern and Gleta Estes in Denver, Colorado, Estes Industries began manufacturing model rockets in 1958. Their original Saturn V rocket introduced in 1970 stood at 43 and a half inches. It included a precision molded plastic launch escape tower and it returned the Apollo spacecraft under one parachute and the Saturn V itself under two. According to Estes website, the 1 100th scale Saturn V took a brief hiatus in 1986 and 87. It came back with serious upgrades in 1988. In 1998 to 99, Estes released the limited edition and now considered rare 30th anniversary Saturn V kit. This kit was only available for a short time during the anniversary of Apollo 11 and again in 2011 for a brief comeback. This photograph, taken in 2012, shows a 2011 Estes Saturn V just prior to launch. Shortly, we'll show a launch of this model that was filmed in 2019, but first are some photographs from earlier flights. The launch we're watching took place in western Colorado on the edge of the Colorado National Monument. At this point, we have ignition. Thrust is building and shortly the Saturn V model rocket will be sent skyward. Trailing smoke, we have liftoff. Its velocity increases as the nearly four foot tall rocket continues to climb. Soon the Saturn V will reach apogee and the ascent engine will cut off. Having now achieved sufficient altitude, we get a look at the underside of the rocket and the engine still providing thrust. Here we can see that the ascent engine has burned out and the big rocket pitches over. Within seconds, the recovery stage of the engine ignites and the Saturn V will shortly deploy its parachutes. Smoke from the recovery stage burn can clearly be seen as can falling parachute wadding. We can see the chutes have deployed but are not fully open. Set against a beautiful blue sky, the red and white chutes are seen completely unfurled. In these images, we see the upper stage of the rocket gently falling to the ground. Despite one parachute not deploying, all components of the rocket touch down intact. In the following video, we'll see the model take to the skies once more. Five, four, three, two, one. It's going to take a while. Keep it pressed.
That's the way it should work. Shown here in slow motion, we see the rocket leave the launch pad and achieve its maximum altitude just before the recovery parachutes deploy. With the chutes open, the rocket begins its fall back to Earth. Here we can see the lower stage descending under its parachute. Visible here is the upper stage, also falling to the ground safely. With the lower stage already on the ground, the upper stage is shown here touching down, thus concluding the flight. Do you enjoy flying model rockets? Maybe you've built a Saturn V of your own. If so, tell us about it in the comments section. Thanks again for watching Manned Space. Please watch for upcoming videos at least twice a week, during which I'll discuss the history of the space program by highlighting artifacts and memorabilia from my extensive space collection. Also, please like, subscribe, and click the notification button for more great content about manned space.